Hey guys, it's Marta Geek. In this video, I want to share with you guys a very cool application I've been using for a couple days already. It's called Snap Swipe Draw. And what it does is that it creates like a swipe down draw that lets you put no, uh, widgets on it. Like you see there, and of course, you can still access your normal swipe down notification panel as well. Uh, keep in mind, let's go ahead right here. Uh, this application is free to use, but if you want to add more widgets, uh, right now you would have to pay, and I think the price is a dollar and eighty-five cents. But I just wanted to share you guys how what you you can do with just the free version, which actually lets you put three no. Uh, widgets right there um, when you swipe down like you see here you still have perfect um, access to your notifications like you see there you have perfect access to notification right here I could go ahead and access storage section right there depending on the widget that you put there um, you can also tap right here configure um, some widgets actually let you make them a little bit wider so you can actually do this here as well if I want to make this three right click right there the effects will take right away let's see if it actually took effect there you go so like you see there it made it a lot more thicker this widget so it makes it a little bit easier for me to access and see or these um, books that I have saved this is using the s note widget and if you have a galaxy device you're actually gonna have this widget um, if you want to let's go ahead and let's go here to no notification let's go ahead here and remove a widget you can actually click like that then when you tap right here again the yellow button uh, you can see all the widgets that are associated to your applications that you have installed on your phone so let's say I want to add another widget here from OneNote. Let's go and click right OneNote right there. Click like that. And look at that. You have the OneNote widget there. Uh, let's say you want to move. Let's say you want to put this one in the bottom here. Uh, you want to put OneNote in the top. Swipe down. And look at that. It takes effect right away. You don't have to actually quit the application so you can see the effects. Um, here... Go ahead here, go to preference. By default, when you first install this application, this swipe down is gonna be on the right side. Like you see there, it's gonna be on the right side, but I prefer to use it on the left side because I'm right-handed and I'd rather have first access to this notification panel, which is the default notification panel. And here on this side, I can have this application, uh, uh, notification panel which is for widgets uh, and it's pretty damn cool over here if you click this right here it will active on lock lock screen so if I close the phone and I open back again uh, this is the lock screen like you see there I have access to it on the lock screen which is pretty damn cool of course depending on your phone it might let you put it on the lock screen uh it might work it might not work depending on the phone that you have but you see there it works perfectly good on the light lock screen on the galaxy note 5 click right there again and here in preferences i don't think you have any more to do accessibility service this of course you have to leave it on blacklist uh, this right here is a very cool feature there for example let's say you have an application that this becomes annoying right this becomes annoying because of the application it could be because of a game or something like that uh, you could blacklist a, an application or game that way when you're playing that game or you're using a specific app this right here will not be available so if you want to do that you can actually do it and you don't actually have to pay for the applications to use that feature and basically that's it this is a very simple to use application all you need to worry here is the location you're going to use it at left or right or i think center too yeah it lets you put it in center too but not all three of them see it doesn't let you do all three of them you have to choose only two spots or one but i'd rather use the left side there click right there and that's it look at that that looks pretty damn cool um of course like i said if you want to i don't know if this one can actually resize let's see if this one can actually resize click right there and there nope that one can't resize it looks ugly so let's remove that 
go ahead and add another application here. One that can actually resize is the Google one. Google now, this one right here. This is four by four, which is gonna be huge. Look at that. That is really damn cool. But this one, you can actually resize it. Click there, click there. Right, let's go ahead and resize it to two, four by two. And there you go. Look at that. That looks so cool. So guys, that's it for this video. Just wanted to share with you guys this application, which is really, really cool. And, and it, I know a lot of people are going to like it and uh, it's free to try and you don't really have to buy the full version unless you want to add more widgets. But if you do, Hey, I think it's totally worth it because it's a very, very, very clean application there. And you see there, you also get the date and time there as well, which is, I don't see if it, yeah, it's available here as well, but some applications or some smartphones might not have the date there when you swipe down and this would actually add it to your smartphone. So guys, thanks for watching. I'll leave the link in my description. That way you guys can go ahead and try it out. Till next time, guys.